Hello everyone, welcome to the second Origin Tutorial, Origin Tutorial 2. And today we'll be looking at how to plot graph and fit the graph to a linear function. So this is applicable whenever you have uh, a data that you want to fit to a linear function. And I will show you how to do this in Origin. Alright, so let's get into the matter. So right here in origin, I have my data already imported. If you do not uh, know how to import the data, then you can go to the uh, first video tutorial, origin tutorial one, and I explain in details how to import your data in that tutorial. All right, so this data that we have here is uh, a data that uh, contains the concentration of a reactant from a reaction and also uh, the rate of the reaction and uh, the concentration is the x-axis and the rate is the y-axis okay so now we want to plot them uh, where we have concentration on x and rate on y so go to plot and then you go to symbol and you go to scatter all right so now we have our plots the rate, I'll change this to rate in per seconds and to change you just double click the box and then I'll make this to be a uh, superscript then here we have a concentration in molar alright alright so now we can uh, go ahead and fit our data but before we fit our data you can see that the x is starting from 0 0.05 and the y is starting from 0 0.02 i like to make everything start from 0 0 but this is not like very compulsory it's just uh, some nitpicking things about uh, whenever i plot my own data so you don't have to change it in your case, but uh, how we change this in this case um, because I want it to look professional. All right, so let's uh, just change this. So I'll just double click the X axis and this box uh, pops up. So currently it's at 0 0.05 and that is why it's starting at 0 0.05. So I'm gonna change this to zero for the X. And to change for the y, I will just uh, go to vertical because the heck the y is a vertical axis, and I'll change this to zero as well. You can see starting from 0 0.015, and that is why it's starting from 0 0.015. So I'll change this to zero and just click uh, OK. Now everything is starting from origin 0, 0, and I like it the way it is right now. And I'll advise you whenever you make your plot. Um, in the best uh, situation, uh, you should have it starting from zero, zero. Okay, um, now we want to fit this data to a linear function. How do we do that? So we should just go to analysis, right hop here, click analysis, and then uh, you go to fitting, okay? And from fitting, you have uh, several options showing up different fitting method, but we are interested in linear, which is the first one So we're going to uh, Choose linear and when you choose linear you have another uh, Option popping up. So this is asking for uh, last use or open dialog This last use is showing up because I fit several uh, linear uh, Several gaps to linear function and it's asking me if I want to use that same method I used for my previous uh, fitting. But since this is your first time, you're likely to have just an open dialog. And uh, the open dialog allows you to interact with the, um, with the software to choose your fitting parameters so that you fit your data the right way. So let's just go to open dialog. And then this uh, shows up here. So you don't really need to make a lot of changes here. Um, the only thing that you need to change is um, 
their X data and then the range. You, you from X data type, you go to range and then you choose to span to full axis range. So what this does is that when it plots your data, it goes all the way from um, the lowest possible value to the highest possible value so that you have like the line cutting through all the possible um, spaces that can be spanned so that you don't just have the line starting from here the first uh, data point to the last data point so you want it's going to go through everything so that is what this does um, and I changed it from use input data range plus margin because uh, if you do that it's just going to show you just uh, the feed from the first data point to the last one but I like to use a full axis pen in case you want to extrapolate to find uh, what the value of uh, maybe X is when the rate is at the particular when the rate is at the particular value. So let's leave it as span to full axis range. Uh, I need to tell you that okay, you can also go to fit control if you want to, uh, and the reason is that uh, <coughs> you can also make some changes to the way you fit your data by maybe fixing your intercepts. So intercept is where the uh, the line cuts maybe the y axis or the x axis. So you can fit your intercept um, maybe to zero zero, which means that when you fit your graph, the uh, line of fit will pass through the origin zero zero. But um, in this case, we are not interested in that because uh, we just want to fit our data point and we want to have just what we fit. Okay, so I'm not going to check that. You can also fix the slope or any other thing that you want to fit. So you, you can play around with this and I'll be making videos to show you um, how to uh, make use of these other uh, options that you have in the, in, the, in, the, in the fitting program. But this is just going to be the first introductory video on the linear fitting. So you don't need to worry about that at the moment. So after you've uh, changed this fitted curve to span to full access range, um, then you just go to, um, you just click OK. You don't need to change any other thing. And then the program will fit your data. And this uh, box is showing up to um, ask calls if we want to switch to the reporting sheet, uh, which means that when it fits, it will give you the fitting parameters so I like to do that because I like to see um, some of the fitting parameters to see if it makes sense so I leave it as yes and I click OK and right here you can see okay the number of point fit is 4 our data has 4.1234 our degree of freedom is 2 and then uh, you can see some other things like the R square, the standard error um, uh, for the for the uh, intercept for the slope. Yeah, so th that is what this is all about. So we just go straight back to the graph, and we can see how it fits. So we can see how this fits linearly, and we have an intercept on the x axis. Okay. So uh, this is how to fit graphs in uh, origin to a linear function. So after fixing, fitting your uh, data to a linear function, you may want to do some other things like uh, uh, make some formatting changes to make your data look great. So in this case, you need to go to my first uh, video tutorial where I explain how that is done in details but I'll just uh, quickly do it right here and you can follow through as well but I'm not going to explain the details of it so I'll just click this click the hexes change this to 3 change this to 15 and then click apply and I want that to be on the y axis as well so I'll just click apply the same thing so I'll go to the right uh, and then uh, use same option for the left and right. I will check this box and then I will uh, hide the, the ticks 
for the right y axis and then I'll do the same thing for the bottom I'll use the same function um, change this to 3 change this to 15 and click apply and then uh, I'll go to the top and I'll couple the two and remove the ticks apply and ok then uh, I will double click the line of feed as well and then I will change the thickness to 3 and then uh, for the symbol I will like to increase the sizes and also change them to circles so make it 15 you can see that this modification is making it looking it's making it to look better in terms of like uh, presentation then uh, for the uh, ticks I'll make them 28 as usual and then uh, for the label I'll make this to be 36 okay uh, but uh, I will just uh, change this back let's change this Okay, then this to 36 as well. Alright, so uh, for these uh, plots, for this uh, report, you don't necessarily have to put everything in your, uh, in, your, in, your in your plot. So you can basically uh, choose what you want uh, from this uh, table. So if you want to edit this table, you can just double click and then uh, remove whatsoever you want to remove maybe uh, this just delete it and then um, yeah I think this is good enough and as a matter of fact if you don't want to put this in your plot as well you can just uh, remove it and uh, for the key you can say this is a uh, data a light and then for this you can call this uh, linear fits okay and like I said I like to get rid of this box I just click it once and then I change this to white alright so let's change this as well to 28 okay and move this just to make sure everything is showing so this is our linear fit and that is how to fit your data to a linear function in origin so whenever you fit linear function one thing you want to always note and that is why I said okay you can keep the stable or you can just uh, remove it so people want to see the R square so you can basically write that out by going to T so this T means for text if you want to put the text on your figure you use this T so you just click T it's a text tool and then come to your figure and click it so now you can type so maybe r square is equals to in this case is 0 0.9964 0 0.9964 and you should use the r square uh, for the COD which is uh, the one the actual r square and this should this would be uh, similar to what you will have whenever you fit in Excel okay so now um, change this to 28 as well and then um, have it like this so you want the R square and also maybe you want the the uh, equation for the fit so we are done or even uh, almost done as the case may be here uh, right now you are able to fit your data to a linear function and uh, that is all you need to know to be able to do it by yourself but uh, just to go a little bit uh, above and beyond you might uh, want to take a look at your uh, plot and uh, fix some uh, aesthetic uh, things here like uh, you can see the x axis is uh, so much uh, congested and the y axis is a little bit congested to solve that problem you will just need to change the incremental values for the X and also for the Y 
to make it less uh, cluttered. So to do that, you just double click the X axis to start with, and you have this uh, box that shows up. And uh, the only thing you need to change is just to change the value by which it increment. Right now, it's increasing by 0 0.05, and that's what this is telling you. So to uh, declutter it, you can make it increase by 0 0.1 instead, and then you apply. For the Y axis, it's increasing by 0 0.01. Um, so to change that you just click vertical and then you can change it to an increment value of 0 0.02 and then click apply then click ok and you can see that the plot looks better i would say and less clothed so that is all that you need to know about uh, fitting your data to a linear function in origin and uh, i will uh, played with you to subscribe to my channel so that you'll be able to get a uh, update of a uh, new video release on how to use the origins uh, graphing software more proficiently also please uh, give this uh, video a thumb up uh, because um, it took me a while to be able to put this all together and this would just be like a reward for my efforts and uh, please um, also comment uh, in case you run into some uh, difficulty with uh, plotting or doing something in origin and you want me to help you with that uh, just leave a comment on your challenges and I will be able to help you or if there's something that you would need me to uh, do specifically a video on uh, you can also leave a comment about that and I will uh, you know make a video about it so um, yeah have a great day and see you in the next uh, tutorial, tutorial 3.